Welcome back to the channel. Today, I think I'm getting duped. My wife said, I'd really like to see you make a video cleaning all the suckers and the brush from underneath these two apple trees. So I think she's on to me. I think she's adding stuff to my honeydew list and calling it making a video, but really it's just getting stuff done. But here we are. I'm going to start hacking away at some of this stuff. There's thorns in there, so I'm going to use my tree pruner to just get into some of the brush before I can get in closer with hand tools and whatnot. So what did you do on your land today? Because I made my wife happy to get rid of this stuff. You can also see that I have lots of apples are dropping. I've been trying to rehabilitate these apple trees by cutting all the, the lower branches, the branches that were uh, encroaching on the other tree, removing any of the ones that are going down, but as you can see they're all They're not doing very well. So I don't, I'm not sure if these are actual apple trees or more like crab apple trees, or if it's just because they've been neglected for so long. But that's what I'm kind of dealing with with these two trees. So this is the Fiskars tree pruning blade that I'm using. It does really well. I forget what kind of distance that is, but I think it's like uh, two inches that it can cut. It can also expand to like 16 feet or something like that. So not sponsored, but Fiskars makes a pretty good tool. The other thing that I'm kind of looking out for is wild parsnip. I thought this was it, but that's not wild parsnip. Uh, what I'll do is I have some other wild parsnip somewhere I can show you. Uh, in our part of Ontario, it's getting pretty prevalent and you have to watch out for it. I know that uh, Orange is my new green, thinks that he got some on his elbow the other day. And it's, uh, it's quite quite nasty to get on your skin and then get uh, exposed to sun. So I'm wearing nice heavy gloves to protect myself from the spikes. We do have some raspberries or some kind of wild berry bush in this area, but they've already fruited and have gone. So not much left in that. So I'm just gonna take it all down and we'll see what grows next year and then we'll be a bit more on top of it. It's neat how these come out of the ground. You break all the roots off them and then just the ball comes out. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving these all to the chickens and the pigs. Now I'm gonna tackle the front portion what I'll do is I'll just drag these to the back, let them die out a bit, and then I'll chip them in a couple weeks when I'm gonna do my big wood chipping extravaganza in the back corner. So stick around for that video. But 
that's gonna take a while and those are all thorny so I think I'm gonna break out my Milwaukee cordless M18 fuel hedge trimmer on a pole let's see if that works better all right so this is the the quick lock system it uses the standard M18 fuel system and you might have seen my other video where I had my whipper snipper. If not, I'll put it in the description. It just keeps, clicks in here. But I also bought the hedge trimmer attachment. So it has a nice little locking system where you can adjust to any angle. So if you need to reach up high, reach low. So we're gonna put it on the low. And it's just done by a bunch of little pins that ride in this channel with quick release and it locks into place. So that's really handy. Then all you do is you line it up until it locks into place. Then you just tighten the knuckle, turn through, that leaves everything locked into place. All right, let's go see how this works on that brush. Oops, hit the wire. All right, that, gotta go turn off that so I don't show anything out. So I originally had a spotlight shining up at the tree and I've meant to bury the wire properly underground and have a plug and everything, but I just didn't get around to it. So I've been using this extension cord just cut it so I've been wanting to bury this cable I've been wanting to bury a proper cable underground um, but I was just too lazy and now now I get to do it properly so I'll just do a bit more cleanup with the hedge trimmer and then I'll scoop it all up give it to the pigs and the chickens and let them have some fresh greens And my words of wisdom are always, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Hope you're not too upset. At, but I was told to remove them all. So that's all gone. I'll tidy it up 
get rid of it. Hey, you can hear the train. So I'll be using my Mule 610, it's 2009, to put the stuff in the bed, take it down to the pigs and chickens, throw it over the fence. Let's do that now. Cut that wire good. There, there. Gotta be careful on the apples. I'm gonna roll an ankle. And at my age, I'm gonna break a hip. So we're gonna take these down, get rid of them. I think I'll bring out the uh, zero turn. Just hit the edges, make sure just kind of clean it up a bit. Just get these last few branches. See if we can throw it all up under there. There we go, one load. We'll see how that goes. Looks like I made it. All right, let's throw some of this over the fence. I'll move you in a better position to see.
right, so uh, that's it. I'll cut some of the twigs down that are still there with the Fisker uh, lopper. Maybe I'll cut some of the, the suckers off the branches here. The, the low-lying ones that are kind of facing down, you should probably prune those up and get rid of them. So that'll be it. What did you do on your land today? I did a bucket list for my wife, the honeydew list done. So or let me know if you like this video. And did I go too far? Talk to you later, guys. Thanks very much. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.